Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of August the 29th, 2024, a Thursday. First of all, we're going to meet for a free software workshop at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, so join us there. Link in the email you received today. And let's look at the markets here. I think these are still bull flags here on the daily, and I still expect the 5700 to be tested. There's nothing on the chart that's telling me that I should be thinking otherwise. And let's look at the other ones too. Here we go. Nice bull flag at this point anyway on the NQ. I'm waiting for a move out of this bull flag to the upside. And YM. YM was the one that practically hit or almost hit the previous level. And I think there's no sell-off here, you see, so I'm not seeing any long red candles on the daily chart, so no selling frenzy occurred when we hit the highs. And look at the bottom tail. That's not showing that the market would be panicking in any way. So I'm continuing to be bullish. That's the bottom line. There's a nice complex bull flag here on the RTY with a beautiful target area around one 2300, one potential measured move. And also, just a little after hours clue here that we have bounced from the lows. Now, no guarantee this will evolve and never look back, but it's quite possible that it will not. So if you're considering a long on the RTY, then this could be a good area to go long from. I would put my stop though, based on the daily so just for the record the stop the correct stop for this kind of trade would be here and if we get stopped out well then we are stopped out that's it okay also just a little clue for our chart it's a doji followed by a pretty long bottom tail so subtle buying here definitely no selling panic on the rty all right let's move on to currencies on which on the 6e we're getting a nice complex pullback on the four hour chart and the daily looks constructive a little red candle here but this could still be looked at as a normal pullback targeting the 125 and also you can look for some other long trades there's some good developments here of course many 1rs the 6n and i think too many to list, but here's, for example, 6S with Frank, hit 1R on the daily. If you were active on this market, then you got your 1R. Currencies continue to be bullish, and there are still previous targets on the chart. Okay, on to precious metals, commodities. I'm still bullish on gold. Both flag here, well, consolidation area, definitely on the four-hour chart. But looking at the bottom tails, there's subtle buying here at this time anyway. So I'm bullish. You can expect a bull flag or a breakout to the upside rather. And SI, same story. I'm waiting for this potential measured move to become a reality up to 33. Beautiful. And if we go there, I don't think we'll stop there. We have detailed the story many, many times before. If I'm wrong, well, then I'm wrong. But also please note that remember this we identified this bottom tail on the weekly as a good stop area and we never looked back and this was a failure test on the daily chart back then beautiful stuff this is how we read the chart also let's see what else and then we have one on zl i think zl here beautiful bull flag on the four hour chart so nice opportunity for tomorrow Okay, so this is what we're dealing with right now. We'll be back in the morning and hope to see you at 4 p.m. Thank you very much and mindful trading.